going guys hope you're doing well today we are going to get in one of the ponds over here and get low with the, the camera hopefully try to get some waterfowl or some egrets or herons um, at a low angle um, i do have the neoprene waders on today uh, they are rated at 1400 so they're going to keep me nice and warm and nice and dry it's nice out today anyways it's only like 56 degrees uh, with a cool breeze off the lakeshore. The water temperature is probably 40, 45 degrees. Beautiful, beautiful fall colors. Uh, beautiful fall October day today. Anyways, let's head out into the water, into the pond, and uh, get set up. All right, let's go. Some geese down there. Maybe once we get set up in the water, they'll come down. I did bring uh, some uh, camo netting just to drape over myself or drape over here, over the camera here, so. Let's just uh, get set up here. Before we go in, we always want to make sure that um, we put the tripod in first and the water to make sure it's secure before we bring in the lens. So put this off to the side for now and then we'll get this into the water. Yeah, there's that dip. See how I have the tripod completely submerged under, except for the ball head, or the, the video head here? Uh, that way I can get a low shot as they're coming in, or as they're just uh, swimming by. If you are coming into the water with a pair of waders on, make sure that your tripod legs are completely locked into place. You definitely don't want to think your tripod is locked onto the ground. Come back and get your camera, set your camera up, and then as you're setting it up and you're getting ready to make your shot, the, the legs give out and uh, go back inside. You don't want that. We're gonna chill for a little bit here and wait and see if we can get anything. And uh, if we do, I'll uh, catch you in a second. There are some geese that are all the way at the end of the bank and I'm hoping they make their way down this way. It was an egret too, a white egret that was along this bank on this side and I'm hoping he comes back too so we can get him. It'd be nice if we could spot some drakes or some wood ducks. They're always my favorite but we have plenty of other outings. When you come out here make sure it is a nice and smooth calm day. You don't want any kind of uh, rapids or anything like that or any kind of white caps going on. Oh, here comes an egret right now guys. Here he comes. Oh, there he is. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. He's just taking off in front of those trees. Nice if I had a cleaner background, but absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Not the greatest angle on that one, but hey, we'll take it. Also be looking up at the treetops. I don't see no eagle's nests uh, at this local pond but always be keeping your eye out at the tops of the trees for those nests because you'll find them next to bodies of water for sure. Yeah, they're coming closer. It's cool, it's awesome. Sometimes all it takes is just sitting around and just waiting in one spot, and which is unusual for me because I'm usually on the go, go, go and wanting to keep moving around and uh, you know, not stay in one place for a long time, but uh, when you're dealing with any kind of waterfowl uh, or birds, uh, this right here is technically the best way to do it. Just uh, not necessarily in the water, but um, just perch in one spot and just wait. Let them come to you.
definitely get you guys a good set of waders, a good pair of waders, uh, good insulated thick waders. Uh, don't go cheap on them if you're uh, coming out here with your gear, especially in the uh, the cooler temperature. You don't want to be leaking, that's for sure. You don't want to be leaking or having a good, you know, something tear on you, especially if you're anywhere prone to alligators in your water. Oh, there's some swans coming. Got to turn around. They're coming down. Oh, there you yeah. There's an eagle that keeps flying around up top here around the treetops, just soaring. And uh, really, really cool if he comes down. I know he sees me though. I, I highly doubt he's gonna come down here right now, but it'd be so cool for him to come down into the water. Something unique about shooting uh, in from in the water uh, away from the bank as they're flying in over the bank, just it gives it a different perspective instead of shooting always from the bank. Also just getting as low as you can, eye level and uh, get uh, level with the water gives a unique perspective as well. <gasps> Went down a little too far, Kevin. A little too far. Sipped right in. Ooh. There's definitely a such thing as getting too low. And uh, that's right around your armpits. Those swans, guys, are absolutely beautiful. Caught them on the tail end there as they're coming in and uh, flapping their wings along the water there absolutely gorgeous one of these days i'm gonna get my uh my bucket shot of an eagle one day all right guys well we did have some fun hope you guys enjoyed those couple of, uh, photographs that i was able to get so we're gonna wrap things up get some hot coffee too See you guys on the next one. Cheers.